Hi, I'm live this morning, or this afternoon, I should say, and I wanted to show you something that you may not know. Did you know that LipSense makes a lip liner? Most of the time, users of LipSense don't use a lip liner because it doesn't bleed or feather or smear or smudge. But there's times when you do want to use a lip liner. For instance, what if you want a contrast between your lip color and your lip liner? Some women like it to be darker than their lip color. Some women are doing it because they want to keep your lipstick from bleeding or feathering. Well, with Lip Sense, of course, you don't have to worry about that because it will never bleed or feather. But with a Lip Sense lip liner, the other cool thing that you can do is you can get a perfect shape of your lip. Let's say that you don't have a larger lip on the top than you do on the bottom. So if you want to make your lips fuller, if you try to use a pencil liner, of course pencil liners is wax, and if you get hot or sweaty or have a hot flash or eat, the wax liner is going to go... Can you believe it? I got cut off. Okay, let's try this again. So the lip liner that I was talking about, the Lip Sense lip liner, one of the main reasons why you would want to use this lip liner is because it won't bleed or feather or smear or smudge. So if you, even if you wore wax lipstick with it, it's going to be better than what you're doing now instead of Lip Sense, but Lip Sense is always the best but it's your choice, you can do what you want. I'm just trying to teach you about lip liners. So when you want to create a larger lip with a pencil liner, it's gonna smear or smudge or go away if you eat and wipe with your napkin and that kind of thing, and then it's gonna look fake, right? Well, with Lip Sense liner, it will stay perfect all day no matter what you do, so your lip, will, it doesn't look fake when you try to make a larger lip. And I'll show you what I mean by that you shake it every time because it's liquid, just like the lip color lip scents that we use. But this is a just a dry cotton pad Q-tip that I'm using just to make sure your lips are dry, clean and dry. Okay, and if you want to go up outside your lip line and if you have foundation there, just take the cotton pad Q-tip and go like this above it because you want clean dry lips to put this on because it sticks to your skin that's why okay so you shake it and then see it comes with this little skinny brush okay and with lip liquid lip liner you don't want to go like this like you do with a pencil you know how you try to get that color on your lips like that you just want to go in a really nice even strokes like that see now we have a lot of colors so you can either uh, have a contrast to your lip color if you want to or you can have a color that's almost the same color as your lips but just a little bit darker so that it's tone on tone kind of so that's what I'm gonna do today. So this one is called terra, uh, persimmon. This one's persimmon. So then on the top, see my lip right there? Okay, so I can go just above my lip to make my lip look fuller. You see how that goes on the other side too? A little difficult to see in in my phone what I'm doing. I think that looks good. I have to stand back and look and see. Okay, that's about even on this side. You can even make your lips fuller on the outside too if you want to. Okay. Now if you had pencil liner on, you would never be able to do this, right? You would never be able to do that. It's already dry. It's already there. It's not going to go anywhere. So then what you do is then you take your lip colors that you've chosen, the Lip Sense colors. I'm going to put Coral Reef with Honey Rose over the top. 
And so if you use our liner and then you use lipstick or if you use lip sense, then you just go right over the oh right over the top like that. And you see how by using the lip sense over the top of the liner, the liner blends in, but it gives a little bit of a definition of a line. So that's what I mean by tone on tone, because you don't really see the liner but you see the shape of my lip better. Okay, now lip sense is sticky until you get the gloss on, so it's a little um, challenging to talk. But then the, the honey rose, I'm just gonna put right over the top. And then I'm gonna put my gloss on in a second, and I'm done. So this will stay all day. It's already dry. It's not gonna smear or smudge anywhere. And you can see that I have a perfect shape to my lip. Can you see that? See? It's not going to bleed or feather. It's not going to go anywhere for the whole day. And that's what's so cool about this lip liner is that you can create a larger lip. You can fill in the areas of maybe you have a scar on your lip that or you maybe um, you've had surgeries on your lip maybe you were in a car accident like I was where this part of my lip right here it's kind of gone because of scarring so you can get the perfect shape and it stays there all day long so that's what I wanted to share with you about lip liners because a lot of people don't know we have fabulous lip liners that comes in a lot of different colors to match your lip look that you want from light to dark and everywhere in between. Bye!